Welcome to our introductory video on Pascal's Triangle. Here we will be looking at five different patterns you can find in Pascal's Triangle. This first pattern shows how we can find the Fibonacci sequence in Pascal's Triangle. All the numbers on these lines, you can see that every time it makes the Fibonacci sequence. In the second pattern, we can see that each row of Pascal's doubles the previous row, also referred to as 2 to the power. Each of the numbers on each row of Pascal's triangle, you can see that each time it doubles in size. And this goes on for all of Pascal's triangles forever. Here we can find how the Sapinski triangle can be found within Pascal's. You get all the even numbers and then draw a triangle around them, and then colour out all of the odd numbers, it will form Sapinski's triangle. Here we see that if you add the yellow and subtract the green, it will always equal the orange. Now, if you do the pattern plus minus plus, you can get whatever it adds up to here. And that applies to anywhere, as long as it's in the middle or the middle two. Finally, this one shows that if you go from any point on the side inwards then out one, the final number in the sequence is equal to the sum of all previous numbers. If you add up all the numbers from any edge of the triangle, and then go downwards and then back to the left or right downwards, it will equal whatever it needs to if you add them all up.